Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Vibe UI port for our beloved U Euphoria, and this is the Vibe UI version 3.0. And these are ported by the single developer named Gagu or Gagu. I don't know how to spell it. The developer is so damn talented. He's been just porting all of the ROMs from all of the possible devices, not Samsung actually, but all of the devices such as the Xiaomi's My UI, Mizu's Fly OS, now this Lenovo's Vibe UI, the another OSs like the U OS, the Leva OS. You have not even heard about that OSs that these developers have been ported, like literally. Hats off to them, but as you can see, I've not set it up. But as you can see, the UI has been loaded up with the navbar. You have to flash navbar separately. As you can see, this is the normal UI and it's very fluid to be honest. Like literally, I can use it as my daily driver on this device. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't work. These are just the alpha ROMs for our U Euphoria. So you don't have to install this ROM on your device. You can just look at my U, U Euphoria and admire it. There is the phone, quite nice app and it definitely looks like a K3 Note. Then comes the security kit. You can scan your device through over here. Then you have the permission manager over here. Just like the standard stuff, which like you get in any other devices such as the uh, Vivo's Eye Manager and another like the major ones like Xiaomi's My UI Manager. Like literally, it's the same stuff in any other phone. You have the spam blocker, app manager, pure background. What's that? Okay, so you get a background usage of every other app such as the GPS, auto start of the app. Okay, so this is very handy. You can clean your device. There is another page of anti theft over here. And also, if you take a closer look, the folders are actually like the recent apps panel. As you can see, these are the live folders which uh, react onto the trending apps on the latest stuff. As you can see, social fun, these are the great apps, tools. This is the normal stuff. As you can see, you get the Dolby sound, Max Audio. This is a very nice equalizer, as you can see, very nicely themed. Also, the clock looks like a total MyUI ripoff. Like, literally, look at that. It doesn't have the MyUI's holographic effect. That's the only missing part. Then, moving on to the settings. As you can see, the standard Lenovo settings. Like, literally, the developer is amazing. But as you can see, going to the display, you get the screen effect over here where you can control your saturation and stuff. As you can see, 5.0.1 and this is the K30T. So, I guess this is the K3 Note as I previously guessed. Now, in the quick settings panel, you can enlarge it by through over here. You get the night protection as before. Do not disturb power of restart you also have more you also have a smart sorting of the toggles over here so i guess it's just readjusts the toggles use the most such as the wi-fi the bluetooth the auto rotation so guys that's pretty much it this was a short release review of the lenovo's ybi on our reload u euphoria hope you guys enjoyed and if you find this helpful please drop a like and see you in the next one peace